Right, this is Sheila. I'm at St. Nitz. I left at five, quarter past five. And I've been here about nearly half an hour now. So it's, it's, t it's, r it's probably, t it's roughly taken me six hours. So I'm just having a scout around. Because there's a river, I don't know how you pronounce it, N-E-N-E, -E, somewhere around here. And there's bridges that cross it. Neen, I don't know how you pronounce it. Um, I'm really, really tired actually, but they wouldn't actually let me park my van yet because I'm not supposed to be here till one o'clock. I got here early because I wanted to avoid the really bad traffic. But, and I could have done a rest first, but I've now got like, it's not, it's warm as well. At least it isn't raining. So here's a bit of the river. Look, there's, um, that could be called Willow Bridge. I'm not sure. Um, I mean, you need a lot of time to explore, really. Remembering that um, one of the declares, Richard, one of my great 24 great-grandparents, um, came to St. Neots and are buried here near the place of the old priory. Um, Rahace Gil... No, Rahace... Gifford, that's right, married Richard Fitz... Robert, I think, declare. And um, they were given lands by William the Conqueror, including St. Neots and loads of other places, so... Um, our family were connected really well around here. Um, I'm hoping to go to Northampton. Not tomorrow, because that'll be a big trip. Tomorrow I'm going on a train, which is still quite a hike, actually, to get on the train. Um, anyway, over and out for a minute.